Hey everybody, it's Super Fun Roy here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we started off traveling through the Bulmax Kingdom, and in this episode, we're going to continue traveling through here. Okay, so we're already pretty, pretty close to some treasure. Okay. Okay, so we're going to take a small group of yellow Pikmin. And destroy these two electricity gates. Oh, Jesus. Wally. Okay, that's the normal Wally heart. So, what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our purple Pikmin here. Get him to come over here. And then have them kill him. Okay, so now he's dead. So I can carry this back. And now we've gotten. The unknown merit. I'm killing this guy. Kill this guy. Let's have all my trouble through here. And over here we have an iridescent glint beetle. It's basically a a version of the iridescent flint beetle that is gold. Uh, and only appears in caves and will drop treasure. So I'm gonna tell the doodle bug was one that dropped nectar and uh, sprays. Is it now gotten? The Crystal King. Now before we move on to sub-level 5, I'm going to get more nectar, so Pikmin who were leveled down due to the uh, withering blowhogs are now leveled up. So we're just going to move on to the next to sub-level 5. Bulmax Kingdom, sub level 5. No. So, we've just got to find treasure, which should be somewhere around here. Okay, come on, stay. Okay, that was really, really fucking lucky. Okay, there's the treasure. So we're gonna call all our Pikmin. And then... Freeze them! And then kill them both. So I'm gonna go around this treasure. Yeah, make sure there are no bomb rocks. And I'll just go wait for these guys to dig the treasure out. Yeah, 
this, so just gotta get these Pikmin to carry us back. Okay, so now we've gotten the Anxious Sprout. Okay. Now we've got to head down here. Hey, Boom Likes Kingdom, sub level 6. <laughs> so we're gonna have Olimar explore the area. Hey, to try and find uh, Okay, so there's a treasure over here. So what we're gonna do... Mm. Hey, okay, first of all, we'll kill this guy. Spill up a Pikmin, take out purples. Um, then kill these two dwarf orange ball wolves. Then kill these two dwarf orange ball wolves. Uh, and then kill this normal orange ball ball. Okay. So, then leave our purple Pikmin here. Then take our red Pikmin. Uh. And then destroy these fire geysers. Now we're gonna go around here and make sure there are no bombs yet. Okay, there was a bomb there. Um, so now we're gonna have these Pikmin dig it up. Yay! Skulls! This is exactly what we need in the kids' games. Monkey skulls! That was the one thing that was preventing Zelda from being the greatest game ever. There are no realistic monkey skulls! Yay! Anyway, um... Wait, what the fuck was I just doing then? I think I'm actually insane. Someone call help, please. Please. I don't know how to use a phone. Please. Uh, anyway, so now we've gotten the Colossal Fossil. Okay, so I'm assuming there's another treasure in this area. Okay, so I think it's either around the edge. Okay, no. Okay, that's another red candy pop board. Okay, I think the other treasure is inside that orange ball bulb. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a red Pikmin destroy this fire geyser. Kill this dwarf orange ball ball. Then kill this red... Then kill this fire... Okay, we, we don't need to bother with this fire wheel, he's taking a corpse. Um. <laughs> So then, like, okay. So we'll leave our red pitman there. Now we kill this orange ball ball. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's the other treasure. So we'll just have them carry this back. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna wait a little bit. <sighs> Do -do -do. Okay, so now we have 
The Eternal Emerald Eye. Okay, so, no, finish that cave. Okay, not cave, sub level. So now we're just gonna go to the exit. And uh, there we go. Okay. Boom, Lux Kingdom, sub level seven. Okay, we're at the final sub level. What we're gonna do, to start off, we'll split up our Pikmin. Now we'll take our red Pikmin. Uh, and destroy these fire geysers. Now over there is the Emperor Bomblax, who is actually the final boss of Pikmin 1. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up our Ultra Spicy Spray. And then have our Pikmin jump on his face. And there we go, he's dead. May I remind you, that was the final boss of the first game. Okay, so here's our treasure. And so, skip that. Okay, so now we're gonna call our Pikmin. Okay. So just wait for the effects to wear off. Okay. So now we have the Sforged Courage. So skip this. So pretty much now uh, the captains are immune to fire. Okay, so bring okay, so bring all our Pikmin around, and we destroy this wall. So now we're gonna split up our Pikmin. Now, Louie will take our red Pikmin, and, and Olimar will take the rest of our Pikmin and stay by the exit. But before we leave, there is actually another treasure. So what we're going to do, we're going to throw all our red Pikmin up here. Then now Louie can head up here since he's immune to fire. Um... Uh, and then here's our other statue. So we'll throw our red Pikmin up here. Okay, so just wait for them to carry this back. Yeah, I think this is one of the only times, if not the only time, there are actually two treasures on the final sub-level of a cave. Obviously, excluding the challenge mode. So we've, but yeah. Still, I have to say, why did they make this fight so easy? Especially since he was the final boss of the first game. Seriously. Uh, but yeah, let's just wait for them to carry this back. So now we have the gyroid bust. So we just need a sub level. Okay, so now we've finished Bone Black's Kingdom. You know, I like that. Sometimes it's just like. <laughs> but yeah, there's all the treasure we got. We got 1,240 Pokos. In fact, we're only 10 Pokos off paying off 80% of the debt. So I'm pretty sure we'll pay 80% off when we do the next cave, the Snagrit Hole. 
So, next time on Pikmin 2, we'll begin exploring the Snagrit Hole. See you guys next time. 70% of debt recovered!